Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. We are finally ready to confront Bowser inside his fortress. It has been a long time coming. We finally reached the main courtyard. If you like reaching the main courtyard, consider consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. I will say, um, as elaborate and as cool as this location is, as like a set piece, it is huge. And I'm not going to pretend like I don't personally have a little bit of boredom with it. I mean, it's neat, but, you know, after a while, it kind of wears on you a little bit. And, you know, it's fun. I'm not going to be a, a downer of Debbie's. But then also, I would like to not have spent the better part of three episodes now on this. If you think about it time-wise, this is like, I don't know. Oops. This is like an hour and a half of content. Being in one area for an hour and a half, viewers, I don't know if you know this, I don't know if you understand how time works. It's a lot. So, and you know, in fairness to the game, I'm, I'm dally dillying a little bit, you know, I'm just kind of butzing around. So I don't want to make it sound like it's the game's fault, but what is this? Is this just part of the structure? Oh, this is like the wall. I thought these were, oh man. I got convinced for a second that these were like little Goombas that had little spiky hats on. That got me really excited and then I realized it wasn't and now my, my heart's broken. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, I am exploring a little bit. Part of that is me being virtuous to want to show you a relatively large amount of the game because as has been discussed, I don't intend to 100% this game by any stretch of the imagination. So... I do have to do my diligences and show you as much as I can while I can. So it is what it is. I'm gonna make the best of it as I always do. This looks, I remember this. Some sort of like weird, weird water mechanic here. The moon down here, neat. Boop. Sunken treasure, oh, it doesn't sit in the moist. Also look at this. <laughs> That's very good. Also, um, the music. Oh, get out of here. You sneak attacked me. You kamikazed me. Um, I do really enjoy the fact that the game does mute the audio. Well, not really muted it. It's muted, as in reduced in audio. Um, when you go underwater, I like this. Not that you can really hear it too well because I'm jibber jabbering, but. You get the idea, right? Very cool. I don't know if there's really anything else I should be doing here besides just kind of making the progress. I do think that you have to, you do need bird though. Pokey bird is, Ooh, okay, great. Game, if you want to respawn another one of those for me, that'd be sweet. Anytime now, there it is. It's very strange how that kind of works. Whoop. I like that these gaps are, of course, perfectly designed to be wide enough just for Pokebird. Or not too wide for Pokebird, I should say. See ya. Bye. But yeah, this ascent is part of the process of... Oh, I didn't think you could stick your beak into that. Words to live by. Um, we're going to go over here, of course. Change direction. Look at that. What a cool, oops. What a cool mechanic. Using all your angels and stuff. Geometry. Oh boy. I don't like this. Okay, cool, great. I'm glad I got the heart before I got hit. Very nice. Yeah, this is just kind of more chaos also. <laughs> the outer wall. This episode is probably just going to almost exclusively be um, what you're seeing. I really hope that I can make enough progress that I can get through the boss fight. There is one surprise um, of this area and then move forward with that. Cause this area is so big, long, hard, you know, all the things. It just, I like it. It's a it's a nice set piece. It is very cool. Hello, Captain Chip. Er, oh, I can't help you with bird. Hold on. Whoop. Are we good now? 
this cool captivating like samurai music it's just like boop, 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 boop. much better oh yes thanks hanging out on the rooftop good to see you captain joe toad very nice you made me lose bird though so that's a little unfortunate everything is jingle jangling dingle dancing i like that <laughs> Everybody's just having a good time, I think. Is that what it is? Is is it a good time being had, or are we being pressured to dance? What a way to be. Never pressure people to dance. Or pressure them to do anything. Don't do anything. Words to live by. Okay. So, we got this boy. As we've seen, we know how to take him out. If we do it fast enough, we did it. Oops. Okay, cool. Very cool. I do believe you'll be able to smash these bricks... There's probably a power moon in this one, if I had to guess, because it is shining. Oh, man, did that hit me? Cannot tell. Oh, I didn't take damage. I thought I was going to. That's a nice little power moon. A little sneaky sneaky. Knock your block off. Whoop! There we go. What if you tried to hit that yellow mark on his forehead? Thanks, Cappy. What a dude. All right. Oh wow, that sounded like kind of like the uh, the Yahoo thing from back in the day. Does anybody remember Yahoo? Yahoo! That's my interpretation. Post your version of the cotton. No, don't do that. All right, so we're gonna go this way. This is very much a Pokebird platforming section. If you're interested in grabbing the purple coins, they're there for. Ooh. They are there for you. I don't know why I thought that I was going to be able to do that sideways. Incorrect. This one, thankfully, though, is heading to the top. And I don't think that there's another power moon down there, so we're just going to skip the rest of that. Plenty of goo. Ooh. Don't want to deal with that. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. We have made it from the outer wall to the inner wall. To the mitochondria. The powerhouse of the cell. Whoop. The Golgi apparatus. All right, here we go. That is basic biology for all you non-nerds. I actually don't really know enough about that to explain what any of it is. Is there anything over here worthwhile? I don't think so. But I'm always scouting. I think that the game is uh, very intentional on forcing you to look this way. Beneath the keep? Are we? I guess technically... Wouldn't it be more appropriate to say in front of? Prepare your butts, viewers. Hey, Bowser. Peach. Hanging out. Why not? Oh, yeah. That's a thumbnail if I ever saw one. Oh, man. It's getting spicy. He's making a way! You're too late! Sarah on the moon? What? Okay, so this game has already gone off the rails. There's been a dragon. We're going to the moon. We just got a super punch out to the face. I don't think that's how space travel works. But it uh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a distraction here. Oh boy, viewers, prepare yourself for this. The five Brutals have come together. I think it's actually only four. Um, the four Brutals have come together to form Voltron. So here you go. This is actually one of the, one of the best uh, boss fights in the game. We even have Madame Brutal there on the front. I don't remember at all how to do this boss fight and that's going to make it a lot of fun so this is the uh the brutals mech brutaltron whatever you want to call it probably should not have gotten that all right so it's it's firing bombs out we obviously need to take advantage of that hit it in the legs this music kind of sounds like uh oof it kind of sounds like kirby but um but um, but um, but um. I don't know which Kirby song that is. If anybody wants to tell me, feel free. 
I'm just gonna go. And a boop, 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 and a boop, 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 boop. All right. So we have murdered one of the four brutals. That is 25% manslaughter. We'll call it an accident because they're jerks. It was not premeditated. All right, so we're back at it. Same rules apply. Bombs are, of course, coming at an alarming rate. Right out the old, uh, the mouth hole there. This is, this is a wonderful boss fight, though. No matter what you think, it's very good. You get to use Pokebird. You get to fight the Brutals in a gigantic wooden robot. This kind of feels like I'm playing, uh, what's the game? Trouble. Ooh, that almost knocked me off the, uh, off the platform. That game where you would, you'd touch the little plastic thing to make the dice go. Boop, boop. That sound that it would make. Ooh, it is hopping mad. Oops. Did it get like a star power? Why is it running like that? I'm going to need you to stop. Oh boy. What is this? Yeah, this this boss fight just has a lot of layers to it. I don't know if we can Okay, I was going to say where the where the bombs at? Save the bombs for your moms. It kind of makes sense, you know. They do have a picture of Madam Brutal on the front. What are these things? Okay, just basically don't touch them, as is the case for a lot of things in this game. Here we go. Keep pooping bombs out for me. Very nice. Oh, I did not think that that was going to hit. Okay, so the machine isn't always going to collapse on its side like that. In this case, obviously, oops, I'm doing a poor job. Um, it switches up to whichever brutal is in the sequence of the fight. In this case, it's... Her name is Harriet. I did look that up. The green one's name is Topper. That's all that I know. That's 50%, and that's good enough for government work. All right. So it's pooping out more onion rings. We're going to avoid those, of course. Unfortunately, this is as fast as I can kind of putz around here. It does telegraph where its steps are going to be with the... Um, with the markings on the ground. Part of this music does sound a little bit like, this is a deep cut, uh, the Mighty Ducks 3, whenever they would have like the theme of like the team playing at whatever prep school they went to, does kind of remind me of that. All kinds of references today, viewers. All right, so clearly it's exposing its back door. So we are now gonna be able to climb up its B-hole. There it is, beautiful. And there's Topper, four of four. I'm not 100% sure how we're actually making contact inside of the bubble unless the Pokebird is capable of breaking through glass. Ooh, that was loud. See ya. There's some fireworks for everybody. Woo, murder. I mean, there's so many good choices for thumbnails in this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Viewers, what do I do? Epic Let's Player struggles with choosing what sort of thumbnail he wants. I haven't really shown much of the Brutals, though. I thought about doing it in the last episode, but there isn't really a good uh, sequence of them being together. But anyway, that's the showdown at Bowser's Castle. We did it. Hooray! Let's see how this wraps up. Of course, with... Mario doing a spin rooney Yeah. Devastating. Bowser's off to enjoy some astronomy. And here we are. Just hanging out. Alright. So, I think this is the part of the game, maybe, where they give you a little bit of freedom to explore. Hint Toad is here. Sure. That's way over there. I'm way, way over here. I'm hoping that this is not going to be uh, a mess to get, okay, thank you, to get there and back. Yeah, I know. Oh, jeez. It spits you out way up here? Okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming there's probably going to be at least a little bit more in the realm of a power moon than just the ones we got. 
Can we go back down? Okay. I mean, of course we can go down, but then the question will be, how do you get the heck back up? Ooh, there's this boy. Do we need him at all? Hi. Oops, that was stupid. Sorry. Don't. No. Quit. Wait. Okay. It's actually pretty convenient. That worked out well. And boop. See you. Bye. Ooh, a sneaky, sneaky. We're gonna go ahead and associate ourselves with this back door. There's a one of those seed moon things. Words. All right, let's. Ooh, this is a bonus. We'll see. I already have enough. Obviously, I do because I'm amazing. I already have enough moons to advance. So I'm probably just going to keep it on the lighter side here since you already got a boss fight to start your episode. And, um, viewers, let's not get greedy. I imagine there's probably a moon up here. Nope. Just a bunch of dumb old coins. Use those to buy that hint moon, which I'm probably going to forget about by the time it's the end of the episode. I can almost guarantee that if I cared about sports betting and this was comparable to that, you would... Probably win a lot of money because of how stupid I am. Whoa, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay, didn't care for that. Didn't appreciate that in the slightest. All right, we're back at it. We'll see how long this takes. I realize that, you know, I don't know what makes an episode do better than others. I mean, I know that, like, thumbnails are obviously important and, you know, whatever saying the right things the algorithm getting that to work in your favor it just seems like a mystery to me oh boy what am i doing so i'm not gonna pretend like i know but i feel like for most of you oops why did that happen that is booty cheeks i feel like for most of you a reasonably length episode everybody wants a nice reasonable length to enjoy there is such a thing as too long viewers don't let anybody tell you otherwise you want that like that baby bear sized episode right which i think is like the 20 to the 20 to 25 minute maybe 30 minutes max length on top of the spinning tail. What? Is that a key? Where is there a key? Oh, we are looking for... Is that... I see coins. I mean, we gotta get it, right? Uh, I see... I see something down there. Something is real wonky. I'm getting it. Alright. I'm just gonna... Hold serve here for a moment. There's definitely something up there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm a little closer though. Ooh. There's gotta be something in here. Let's bring it around town. Just wait for a second. Am I missing something? I mean, I see those coins, which is whatever. Uh, okay. I mean, there's clearly a coin, not coin, a key, key somewhere. And I could have sworn that I saw the, the silhouette of something. Oops. 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 Sorry. My bad. I do not know what I'm doing. Where is... Wait. Okay, so it doesn't look like... There's anything remarkable that is on the surface of me seeing it? As in, I don't see it. Whoa. Almost got my beak stuck. All right. Oops. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm not. That's not being readily apparent to me. Unless you're supposed to, like, scale the tower. Oh, whew. Nope. I saved it, and then I unsaved it. 
I'm not seeing that key though. I mean, it's probably one of those things that's like very obvious to everybody that's not named D-Mike, but you know. Oh, viewers, it is what it is. We're making the best of it. Zoop. Unless there's like a special... Is there something where I need to bring it around the outside? Maybe? Can I do that? I'm gonna jump from this side. Zoop. Okay. Nope. That is... Ooh, it's down. Ooh, I see it. Viewers, we've made a discovery. We're doing it. You thought you had me game wrong. I am a consummate professional who doesn't know how to speak English. I just said professional. It's been a long day, viewers. I need you to get off my back. No. No. Okay. Stick. Yes. All right. So we're in here. Yes. That was actually going to really bother me if I didn't figure that out, so I'm quite, uh, quite pleased. Actually, it's probably faster to do this. That's a tactical reset. That was a really harsh sound. It's like the game was disagreeing with me. Burm, burm, dummy. All right, so here we go. Scale the old shaft one more time. With our long pecker. Just going to... I'm glad that it's infinite in the amount of dexterity the Pokebird has with its beak. I think. That would've been really embarrassing if I was wrong. Oops. Okay. And... Wait, did that not count because I died? Oh, game, get the heck out of here. All right, well, at least I know it's on the back side, so all I gotta do is this. Whee! This counts, oops. Get out of here, imposter bird. Yeah, you gotta do it in one shot. I thought you could cheese it and you can't. Game is on to me, all right. This is the thing that I struggle with the most is being able to jump out and then get back up. You have to make the full ascent in one go. No cheeses. Just gonna wait. Pokebird. So patient for me. Thank you, bud. Appreciate you. I'm just gonna wait for the easy easy mode here. I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Alright, so that's the old one. Out with the old in with the new, down and up the spinning tower. And I could honestly see myself being comfortable with one more moon, maybe, just to make this episode reasonable. And in that case, we can go down here. Grab ourselves this big nut. Spinies are obviously going to make this difficult. That's the challenge ahead. Oh, I have to pick it up. Why can't I do this? Thankfully, you can jump, though. That This would be really annoying if you had to just weave in and out. Okay. Now, I was convinced that I was going to just turn into a moon, and it is not. So, I'm a little alarmed that this is not just a... Uh, a moon in and of itself. We're going to be continuing to climb the stalk. Ooh! Oh, this is going to be danger. Oh, viewers. Oh, well, you got to jump. That's, um... I just learned that. Okay. Very cool. And it automatically resets you if you screw up, so... Completely punishing you for being a dingus like me. Did not know that. All right, game. Not letting me shift the camera angle. Very cool and fun. All right, let's try that one more time, AKA infinite times until I get this right because I am stubborn. Whee! This is like top of the flagpole in Mario 64. That's a deep cut. Who doesn't love 25 year old games? All right, here we go. One more time. And whee! And go. Let's go. Oh, I love this song. Let's grab this heckin' moon. That's probably the secret moon dashing through the clouds. It has shink through the clouds. And it does kill your momentum, which I do appreciate. That would have been really, really rude if it didn't. Oh, no. And you probably just got to go for it here. That's a bonus moon for you, as far as I'm concerned. Whee! 
All these coins that I don't care about. Viewers, aren't you so lucky? All right. I don't know if that was the... Nope. Did I show this off? Yeah, I did. I didn't show the dragon nonsense. Yeah, there's like a... Uh... What's the... Was this the... Well, maybe I did get it. Or did I not get it? I don't know. I'm here. I think I got one of the... I got a decent amount of power moons for you guys. Quit your complaining. We need to go find that warp pipe, though. We need to hit that pipe. There's a little launcher over here. Whee! That's fun, huh? Stay away from me. Oh, there's so many spinies over here, though. Let's take a quick peek at what this is. There's a bit of an infestation, if I do say so myself. I don't like this. Oops. Just run right into them. I'm just trying to brute force it, use my iframes to get the heck out of here. Yeah, I have no interest in this anymore. I don't remember how to get back to the... Uh, uh, to whence I first began. Uh, game, help me out here. I don't remember... Music is a little distracting. All right. We took a pipe somewhere. I don't remember where that was. There's got to be an easier way to get back here, right? This is what you get when you don't pay attention. I don't feel like the game really intends for you to... Oops. Okay. Well, that's fun. Just bombs exploding as we're diving off the side of this building. Maybe it'll put me up somewhere higher. Nope. Why would it do that? I think the only real way to get back... Oops. Excuse me. Is to... Get a Poke Bird and scale the building a little bit. That's unfortunate. Only because this is going to take too much time. It's the game basically telling you to suck it up, buttercup. You're no match for my pokey bird, though. Whee. I'm just trying to get this done. Ex post fasto. Ooh, that one goes down. I don't like that. Ooh, I almost landed right in that goo. Ugh. Fewers, that would have been a devastating move. Let's get here. And whoop. You can go on this side, too. We are running a little short on time, but I'm curious what this is. Is this another bonus? Oh, nope, just a chest. Why not? Stealing Bowser's riches. 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 Riches get stitches. Well, more of them should, but... Money prevents that. All right, so let's grab all of his... stuff. Absolutely... a thief right now. No real call. I mean, he did steal our girlfriend, wife, partner, fiance, best friend. I don't know what Peach is supposed to be in comparison to Mario. Um, so we're going to head downtown here. Whoop. Probably need you. Get over here. I just want to go home. I don't. I just don't remember how I got there. Probably just got to go up again. When in doubt, up it out, baby. All right. Okay. I imagine there's no real way to avoid doing this instead of just going this way. Um, where was that pipe, though? Was it over? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so we can get the heck out of here. I was going to try to speed up this episode and not make it so long like I had been, but, you know. Let's get in here. Ooh, that was, like, immediately transferred. Yeah, we're just going to get the H out of here. We have gone above and beyond, of course, once again, as you do. All right. Let's go ahead and fill that Odyssey up with some delicious power moons. For a nice round number here. 223. Great. More Tang. It's a kick in a glass. Oh my gosh. The Odyssey is complete. My heart is so full. It's a balloon filled with pee. All right. Well, viewers, 
We're going to chase Bowser all the way to the Moon Kingdom next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.